Hello and welcome to this presentation. My name is Anna Sophie and today I'm going to present to you our project along with my other group fellows. Uh, this project is about a life cycle comparison of EPS and cardboard packaging. And in this case, we had a company we worked with, with which is Stanford Drives. So let's take a look at the agenda for this presentation. First of all, I'm going to explain to you uh, what the motivation was behind this project. Then we're going to talk about some challenges. Afterwards, we will be looking at the key findings from our project. And lastly, we will take uh, a talk about um, the feedback from the case company. So why choose this topic? We chose this topic because when you look at the lifetime of different products, you can see that especially packaging has a short lifetime of approximately one year. A note to this is also that when you look at this uh, graph over here, you can see that um, the packaging mentioning here is the plastic packaging. This was also the case for our case company. Uh, so what's the case? The current packaging that Danfoss drives are using right now is made of polystyrene and that's approximately 95 till 98% uh, air. They are containing frequency drives and they are shipping them all over the world, but we have a focus especially on Europe. They are choosing to have this type of packaging because it's shock absorbent, it's lightweighted, the, it's resistant to heat and chemicals, and also it's very cost effective. My name is Philip, and I'm going to discuss a little bit about the challenges with expanded polystyrene. So, first of all, when we made this project, we were discussing a lot uh, the circular economy aspect of using EPS packaging in this uh, in the case company then for Drive. So we kind of looked into how the EPS were used in the infrastructure by the, uh, the authorities and then also how Danfoss used it. And we came to the conclusion that it's actually really difficult to, uh, for, for Danfoss and the consumers to use EPS packaging as it's not very useful in the way that it's made out of air, uh, most of it, and the infrastructure to handle it or to trying to slow the loops or closing them again or regenerate them is very difficult in the aspect that they most of it are either incinerated or put into a landfill. Some of it is though uh, reused again and there's getting more awareness about it but it's difficult uh, since the infrastructure in Europe as our delimitation were concerned about uh, is not really ready for the for the uh, uh, EPS reusing aspect. So, as we try to look into the waste handling, uh, it kind of differs because we also look into the, another aspect where they use cardboard instead of EPS packaging for the drives. Um, and as we saw, uh, the recycling rate in Europe for cardboard is way higher than plastic. So, we try to look into Europe only, as we know there is a bit more recycling uh, happening about plastic uh, compared to other countries, and it made it easier for us to give us a uh, perception of how circular economy aspects and a extended producer responsibility could be used in the case of Danfoss Drives. So, the extended producer responsibility is uh, something that makes the company more aware and make them, trying to make them uh, responsible for what happens to the packaging after the product has been sold and deliver to the customer. It can be very difficult to implement because it's another aspect of money the company has to use to make sure that the, the, the trash is being handled uh, efficiently. And we have to make sure that Danfoss, the company, and on the other company are make, made responsible for this packaging either reused, recycled, or in other terms, in the circular economy, make sure it's gonna be in the closed loop somehow. So, as I said before, Danfoss Drive is working on a new uh, uh, packaging material and it's made out of uh, cardboard packaging. 
and uh, we've made an LCA where we wanted to see the difference between or the difference impact of cardboard and e e extend, uh, EPS. Hi, I'm Lasse, and I'm going to take you through the key findings uh, of our study. Um, and as Philip told you, we did the, an LCA of the EPS and the cardboard packaging. And what we did with the EPS is that we modeled the three different end-of-life scenarios. So we had the first scenario where 26.4% of the EPS is recycled because that's the general recycling rate of EPS today. Then we model a 50% recycling rate, which is the target for 2025 in Europe. And then we model a 90% recycling rate to compare it to the recycling rate uh, of cardboard. Uh, and as we can see on the graphs, uh, overall, the impacts of cardboard uh, is lower than for EPS, except for uh, land use. And uh, when we look at the uh, land use, uh, we could also see that as the recycling rate of EPS increased, uh, the impacts also increased. Um, this, then when we looked into this, we saw that this was because of the energy required for the recycling process of the EPS. So even though recycling is a good thing in environmental terms, there is still a, an environmental cost to the process of recycling. Uh, based on the LCA and the impact assessment, we then uh, got the, to the conclusion that Overall, cardboard has a lower environmental impact than EPS, and per packaging unit, uh, the company would save 1.38 kilograms of CO2 equivalents, uh, 0.46 kilograms of oil equivalents, but there would also be an increase of 0.19 square meters of annual cropland equivalents when using cardboard. Based on uh, these results, we made three recommendations to decision makers. The first recommendation is that the packaging that you choose should be able to adequately protect the product because if the product is damaged during shipping, then you will just have to produce a new product. The second one is to choose a packaging material which is easier to reuse and recycle so that to keep the circular economy in mind. And our third and last recommendation is to implement tools like the extended producer responsibility that Philip just told you about uh, to make sure that the packaging waste is handled responsibly. Hi, I'm Alexandra, and I'm going to present to you the feedback that we got from our case company, Danfoss Stripes. Our contact person was really pleased with the uh, outcome of our project. In fact, the findings of our project are going to be presented to uh, the management committee uh, to who, um, convince them to switch to cardboard instead of uh, EPS packaging. However, uh, just as it happens to our case, there is a tendency of cherry picking from the results, uh, meaning that the focus is solely on uh, CO2, even though LCA calculates different kinds of impacts that combined gives us a holistic understanding of uh, the environmental impact of a product. Uh, therefore, we recommend that uh, professionals uh, are thoroughly more educated towards environmental sustainability. Furthermore, we strongly recommend that the company take steps towards extended producer responsibility to adopt circular business models. Thank you. <laughs>